Climate change means in terms of our research that we do not investigate how the climate will change in the future, but we are mostly interested in what will be the consequences of this climate change. Many groups address the first question, but we, we are focused on the second and we inve investigate in particular how climate change will affect the ecosystems uh, that surround us, how it will affect lakes, uh, river systems, water availability in general and also agriculture, that means will we have more or less crop yields in the future actually. We have a, a global model uh, to calculate actually the impacts that can be expected given climate change. It resolves the earth surface into 60,000 grid cells, uh, so it's a, a numerical computation model and it will tell us actually given a, a specific climate change scenario, what will happen on the land surface uh, if this climate will, climate will come true in the future. And a particular focus, which I think is a bit under-researched up to now, is what sort of impacts can we expect if, if the global warming will exceed two degrees, which is kind of the international agreement that this goal should not be uh, surpassed in the future. But current negotiations tell us that, it, that there may be a chance that we will end at 3 degrees, 4 degrees or even 5 degrees as bus if business as usual is going on. And we are particularly interested in this project to investigate what that would mean actually for water resources, ecosystems and, and agriculture. The best case actually would be if we stayed below the two degrees. That is very clear from our simulations. You will see in some regions that water resources decline, that crop yields decrease. It's especially true for southern Europe and some drier regions. But you will also see in some regions that crop yields even increase because it gets a bit warmer, the growing seasons will be prolonged and so on. Uh, so that would be in, yeah, uh, concurrent with the uh, international negotiations, that would be a goal that we should not surpass because we see in other simulations if we go beyond two degrees to three and a half degrees or even five degrees that water resources will decline dramatically in, in many regions. There will be higher frequency of floods and others. Crop yields will decline in many regions and the ecosystems actually, the natural ecosystems that are around us, they could really change, uh, be transformed tremendously. Uh, so the world warmer than uh, five degrees warmer than today would be totally different from that that we know uh, by now and there are many non-linearities in the climate systems which uh, we only have a rough idea of and which could bring surprises to it uh, that we may not even see yet in our simulations so it's so we we project these scenarios of three four or five degrees not to tell that will be the future but to actually avoid this future by showing what will be the bad consequences uh, to tell policy makers this is a situation uh, and a no-go area actually for the world population so we need to avoid that. I'm leading a, um, a sub-project in this project which is actually addressing the the impacts research that means we, we use a number of uh, a large number of climate scenarios uh, run the global models and see what uh, impacts on water resources, agriculture, ecosystems we can expect given these climate scenarios. And we are also interested in looking, well, what can we do about this? So if there will be warming, global warming of two, three, four degrees, are there any options to alleviate the, the consequences? That is to use water more effectively, to expand the cropland actually uh, because at the same time population will grow, the food demand will in increase uh, in addition to the effects, negative effects of climate change and the project is actually about uh, addressing these um, synchronous uh, problems uh, with a number of uh, models that will be coupled all together to address problems of climate change, uh, changes in the water systems and land use changes uh, which are driven by the population growth actually. So on my part is actually on the climate impacts side of things. I'm a bit pessimistic uh, in terms because when you see the current negotiations and where the world stands but I think as researchers we should have a clear uh, look 
onto the world and, be, and do uh, simulations as good as possible uh, to inform the public and the policy makers about uh, the options. And my hope is actually that some of this uh, yeah, is, will be seen, uh, and as I said uh, in earlier statements, uh, that this will affect policy making in a way that the negative consequences will be avoided as, as far as possible.